Let's introduce you to the tools you will need to filter the oil. A trash can with a liner, soap bucket with a green scour pad, sanitizer and two terry towels, a spatula, a square spider sifter, a drain valve extension, a drain valve poking rod, heat resistant gloves, a burn guard apron, safety goggles. First, always start by putting on your safety equipment. We are going to put on your apron to protect yourself from any hot spillage. To adjust your apron, pull using this strap adjuster. Then, put on your safety goggles to protect yourself from hot oil and chemical splashing. Put your stand hat back on, and then let's put on these heat resistant gloves. Now let's go and turn off the thermostat to the fryer. Remove the fry baskets, fry basket holders, and the fryer grate, and let's take them to the dish pit. Use the poking rod to remove the fryer grate. These need to get cleaned every day. Using the square spider sifter, let's remove any floating debris and throw it into the trash. Make sure to drain any excess oil. Now we need to connect the valve extension to the fryer. Always make sure that the spout is facing down. Now that the valve extension is in place, move the filter machine directly under the valve extension. Plug in the filter machine. Slowly pull the valve lever down to limit the flow of hot oil releasing from the basin. Limiting the flow of hot oil will help protect you from splashing oil on yourself. This is also why we are wearing the protective apron. When using the poking rod, be careful not to hit these sensitive probes. They control the temperature of the fryer, and if one of them breaks, then the fryer will stop working. Now, using the poking rod, push the debris in the bottom of the fryer basin, through the valve extension, and into the filter machine. Next, place the hose over the fryer basin while still holding the hose with one hand. Turn on the filter machine pump. Use the hose to clean the sides and the bottom of the fryer basin. Be careful not to spray oil over the sides of the fryer. While still holding the hose, turn off the machine pump. Let the excess oil drain from the hose, then place it in the corner bracket of the filtering machine. Now close the fryer valve lever, move the filter machine to the side, and turn the pump back on. We're gonna allow the filter to pump onto itself for 10 to 15 minutes. Remove the valve extension and take it to the dish pit. You can take off your heat resistant gloves for this step. Dip a rag into the sanitizer bucket and then use that to clean out the inside of the fryer basin. Now let's pull out the drain fryer and clean it using the soap bucket and green scour pad. We want to make sure we hit it on all sides as well as the door inside and outside. Pay close attention to the door handle as that is a place for bacteria to build up. Then make sure you clean the back side of the fryer, getting underneath in the little cubby area. After scrubbing the fryer, use the sanitizer rag to remove all the soap film. Now with all of your safety gear back on, carefully move the filter machine back in front of the fryer. Double check that the drain valve is closed. Place the hose back over the fryer basin with one hand still on the hose, turn the pump back on. Then pump all the oil back into the fryer. When you see that all of the oil has been pumped out of the machine, turn off the pump. Move the hose back to the filtering machine bracket. Make sure to allow any excess oil to drain from the hose before you swing it over to the machine. The oil needs to be refilled to this oil level mark. If this line is not reached, Fill with new oil. Now unplug the filter machine and wrap the cord onto its hanger. Replace the clean fryer basket, basket hanger, and fryer grate. Your fryer is completely clean and filtered. Now we have one more critical step and that is getting the filter machine ready to be stored. First we need to scrape the debris out of the filter machine. Using the spatula, scrape the debris into a large boat with a half sheet pan underneath. Once you have scraped all the debris off of the top, throw the boat and the debris into the trash. Now we need to unclamp the hose from the pump and place it to the side. Then we need to unclamp the pump and place the pump in its proper storage area. Take out the filter and clean out the basin of the machine. Remember, do not put any water on the filter itself 
or anywhere around the filtering machine. Once the basin is clean, put the filter back in place and then put the machine and the hose in the proper storage area for your location. Filtering the oil needs to be done daily. If you have any questions, please reach out to your manager.